Gumpies, it's Miss Betsy reading another story. Today I'm going to read Mr. Gumpy's Outing by John Burningham. This is Mr. Gumpy. Mr. Gumpy owned a boat and his house was by a river. One day Mr. Gumpy went out in his boat. May we come with you? said the children. Yes, said Mr. Gumpy. If you don't squabble. Can I come along, Mr. Gumpy? said the rabbit. Yes, but don't hop about. I'd like a ride, said the cat. Very well, said Mr. Gumpy, but you're not to chase the rabbit. Will you take me with you, said the dog. Yes, said Mr. Gumpy, but don't tease the cat. May I come please, Mr. Gumpy, said the pig. Very well, but don't muck about. Have you a place for me, said the sheep. Yes, but don't keep bleating. Oh, can we come too, said the chickens. Yes, but don't flap, said Mr. Gumpy. Uh-oh. Can you make room for me, said the calf. Yes, if you don't trample about. That's a big animal. I'm a little worried about that. Oh, may I join you, Mr. Gumpy, said the goat. Very well, but don't kick. For a little while, they all went along happily. But then, are you ready? Look at all these things that are gonna happen. I don't have a good feeling about this. The goat kicked, the calf trampled, the chickens flapped, the sheep bleated, the pig mucked about, the dog teased the cat, the cat chased the rabbit, the rabbit hopped, the children squabbled, the boat tipped. And into the water they fell. Then Mr. Gumpy and the goat and the calf and the chickens and the sheep and the pig and the dog and the cat and the rabbit and the children all swam back to the bank and they climbed out to dry in the hot sun. We'll walk home across the field, said Mr. Gumpy. It's time for tea. Off they go, look at that long line. Imagine all those people and animals in that boat. They're all having a very nice afternoon tea. Goodbye, said Mr. Gumpy. Come for a ride another day. <laughs>